Hello YouTube, my name's Adam uh, Welcome to the channel On this wet February, late February Friday uh, We're going for the MOT on the DR250S Running slightly late But we'll get to the MOT station on time But I've had a slight issue with one of the indicators on the back and I wanted to It's not a bulb, it's a bit of a wiring issue I wanted time to have a look at it but I've got back from work late and not had time it's working now <laughs> but you all know what's going to happen when it goes in there it's not going to work we all know that hopefully I'll have a bit of a play with it when I get to MOT station it'll be working oh bloody hell it's wet, it's miserable, it's windy, it's cold but some things just have to be done uh, the bike's not been out since um, when's the one last time? Oh, New Year's Eve. Did a New Year's Eve vlog. God, these lights. They're on amber. <laughs> Need to nip at bank as well. So I did a New Year's, Eve, New Year's Eve vlog. And then that's the last time any of my bikes have been out. Because the weather since then, as you all know, has been horrendous. We might have had a couple of days in January where I could have got out, but. That was probably family and work commitments that kept me off the bike but the, what's kept me off the bike since then is weather wet cold miserable windy weather been through two storms <laughs> we've got over storm dennis well i'd have thought so but still seems to be hitting us Working? Mm, no. Oh come on! I'm not gonna pass this, boys. Come on! Is there any point in turning up with an indicator not working? <laughs> Simple thing like that. For fuck's sake Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working Right, we'll do that <laughs> We'll do that when we get there We sort of got it to work then I can't believe this, I fitted them. I wired them in right, I shrink wrapped them. And now they're not bloody working. But it did start to work then. Hopefully it'll work. Because <laughs> you won't pass it with an indicator. Just all. I just said something to him. It's working there, it's just having a funny one. Might be the wet. <laughs> Remember the wet weather? Sod's law, isn't it? How many times has that happened? It's sod's law. Remember to keep giving this little camera a wipe. I don't want to press it, <laughs> I know it's not going to work It wouldn't be so bad if it were bulb, so I can just get a bulb There's definitely a wiring issue but Anyway, we'll deal with that when we get there Let's talk a little bit about the channel so I've had a bit of a subscriber surge <laughs> for the last couple of weeks I'm now up to 100 eventually 
I am up to 100 subscribers so I'd like to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel everybody that's watched my channel everybody that's commented that's give it the thumbs up that's give it the thumbs down that's rung my bell you've all contributed in your own way to the channel um, and getting to 100 is just you know it spurred me on a little bit more now to to bring more content try and do more even if they're just short um, you know just little short ones little short Friday vlogs going on you know commuting home from work or something like that just to give a little bit of content on the channel but like I said nobody's really oh it's working it's working <laughs> it's working no it's not it was working it's working again nobody's um come on come on come on really been doing a right lot of vlogging have they oh. mr willits one of the drivers that swings that eh? so he's earning more money than me driving about in the 16 plate jaguar and all that much <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I, like I said, I really do appreciate everyone that's commented, that's contributed to the channel. I know hundreds, nothing, it's, you know, it's a milestone for me, because when I started this off, it was just a bit of fun, just a bit of videoing. After I fell in the canal on my push bike, and my family bought me, was it quite, was it a GoPro, it was something similar, some, something from Alfred's. I was going to say a cheap one from Alfred's, but it pleaded 70 odd quid. And it was probably the same quality as these cheap ones that you get for about 20 quid off eBay. It was crap. <laughs> if you like to go back and have a look, in fact, I'll stick. Let's do it. Up there, there'll be a card with my first test vlog on the original camera with a bit of music in the background because I couldn't get the mics out. In fact, it didn't even have a microphone socket on it. So I watched the video on YouTube with some Asian guy who stripped one down drilled a little hole in the side of it and fitted a jack plug anyway I fitted it and it worked but it hissed like mad because it was tiny little wires you had to solder and I just I didn't have the right solder gun or anything it was too big anyway it hissed like mad but it worked but it didn't if you know what I mean it wasn't you know my voice came through I could put a microphone in my helmet and you could hear my voice but with a hell of a lot of hissing in the background so my first vlog or two well my first vlog ended up being just music in the background so it's like 70s uh, <laughs> 70s adult movies let's see if he recognises them <laughs> tell you what we'll go straight on instead yeah, with some 70s adult, uh, <laughs> adult entertainment video music in the background. I'll put that on. Like I said, the link will be up in the top corner. And then after that, I was, what I was doing is recording sound on my phone and video on that uh, camera, which proved to be all right. You just sync it with a bit, with a bit of a clap of the hands and then sync that together. And then obviously once I started to get into it and into a bit of editing and stuff and I was enjoying it I got myself a GoPro which did the usual GoPro thing and packed up after I don't know maybe eight nine months luckily still under warranty and got another one well upgraded to the got to the seven black I just had the 2018 black this one's a lot better and then bought the Aero 4 to mount on the handlebar So yeah, it sort of like spurs you on a little bit, doesn't it? Getting to a milestone like 100. For most bloggers, most people on YouTube, 100 is nothing. But I'm pleased with it anyway. I'm happy with 100. <laughs> My mate Morphy and James, uh, I think they're on maybe 140s, 125 and 140s, something like that. Between, well, each. Morphe being just in the lead. It's not a race, they're not like in competition. Well, we are a little bit. Who gets to 200 first, gotta buy the bruise. Next time we go out. Oh, come on, Adam. Checking the indicator, it's not working. That indicator is not working. 
and then it works. You gotta leave it on for a few for a second then it'll work. Oh, they might be alright with it as long as it he sees it flashing. Yeah, you've got to get me up to under, under up to 200 subscribers, YouTube. I can't let the two the two old age pensioners buy <laughs> buy me a mug of tea and a cake. Not on the you know, not when they're only on the state pension. Can't do that to them when I'm out there working. So I'm out there sleeping in my truck working all the time, and they're at home, you know. With electric blankets on, sat in front of the fire on three bars. You know, all that all that gas and electric they're using this time here. Someone's got to pay for mugs of tea, and it'll have to be me. So you need to get me up to 200 subscribers, Eugene. Well, there we go into there to bike a warehouse. The Bikers Warehouse at Walked In, Stroke Farmworth. And I'm going to get a failure. I guarantee it. I'm going to get a failure with this bastard indicator. I might have 10 minutes to have a play with it outside. Anyway, I'll have a play with my indicator. And I'll get back to you. After the MOT. So stick around and stay tuned if you want to find out whether the DR250 passed or failed miserably. Hello YouTube, we're back and have a look at this. <laughs> it actually worked when it went in and it's passed. Get in. I was impressed with it. I was impressed with it last time I took it and impressed with it again. They said everything, everything's uh, no advisories on it. He said you're just showing off now, aren't you, with your new chain and sprockets and, <laughs> and your new uh, brake pads. I've never seen that much meat on a brake pad before and an old bike like this. So I've done all that. And they said everything's solid on it. He said the only thing, and it's very, very slight, is the bearing on the rear swing arm. There's a slight bit of play in it, but he said you'll probably get away with taking that off and banging some grease in it. And other than that, there's nothing at all wrong with it. <laughs> Apart from me taking the mic out of his glasses, because he couldn't find his glasses, and then he put them on. You know, <laughs> he's going to need glasses to find me glasses, he said, here, put them on. So it's like you've had about four pints, I put them on, I said aye, and the rest, and he said aye. Yeah. Let your bike in there for a MOT, is it? We'll see what happens now, you're taking the piss out of my glasses. <laughs> but she's passed. Turn the fuel off, last time they turned the fuel off, not like Last time I got it in, it, it cut out. But oh shit, what's up with it? It's done exactly 1,000 kilometres. He said, unless your 685 is sticking, which is not because it's now on 687. <laughs> he said, when it came in last time, it was 22,685. And he said, no, it's 23,685. He said, that's uncanny, that exactly 1,000 kilometres. Oh, it's passed. It's passed, it's passed, da, 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 da. it's passed and it's not raining. And he said it sounds sweet as a nut. So this old girl is going to stay with me for a very long time. I've had little dreams and aspirations of getting something a bit newer, something with electric start and all that. But sod your electric start. <laughs> Real men kickstart the motorbike. <laughs> 